I'm currently working on a crowdfunding application that allows users to pledge funds for interesting products. I was responsible for building out the backend to this pledge service using Node, Express.js for the server, Postgres as a database, and New Relic to monitor my application performance. A challenge I faced was to improve my application performance by increasing the requests per second my server could handle while keeping latency low. First, I measured the response times for my server to benchmark against using a load tester to mimic high traffic scenarios. The new Relic dashboard depicted a bottleneck on my server, so I focused my initial efforts to optimizing the server. I looked into the Express.js documentation and implemented their recommendation to use node clusters, which allows Node to run on multiple threads and makes use of all the cores on the CPU. This increased the load my server was able to handle by 100%. Next, to further optimize, I ran another round of stress testing and analyzed the new metrics, which showed that the database calls were taking up the bulk of the time. I went back to my queries and saw that one of them joined two tables together. And I realized that the action of searching through two tables, even with indexes, could be an important factor in response times. In order to decrease the number of calls to the database, I implemented a caching system using Redis which stores data in memory, making it significantly faster to retrieve cache data. This was also a good point to consider the join method in my query. Another option to increase speed was to denormalize the join column in my database. The trade-off for denormalizing was that in exchange for a faster read speed, write queries would not now take longer. I considered the trade-off in the context of the project by assessing the use cases for each database call. It was more important to display quick read times in order to keep users interested on the page, but writing to the database did not require it to be instantaneous. Based on this, I opted to prioritize the GET request and denormalize the query. By using clusters, implementing Redis, and denormalizing my queries, I was able to improve the response times for each request to the server and overall increased the requests per second limit my server could handle by over 120%. This would ensure a standard user experience for all users across the board, even when the server is experiencing high traffic volume.